makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Friends, as you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America, in offices and factories, on farms and ranches, in mines and oil fields, folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of a radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama me, <laughs> tomorrow is the first day of spring in America. And this is a big thing to all Americans. The women, they go out and buy new spring closets that cost lots of money. And the men, they buy a straw hat and change it to short underwear. <laughs> but this weather, I'm a love, Mamma Mia, because it's so much like our weather in Castella Mare. Also, people look more friendly now that the icy cold is gone away. This morning before breakfast, I'm walking the street, I'm smiling at everybody, and everybody's smiling back down to me. I think we all congratulate each other that we was alive through the winter. <laughs> and in Chicago was a really cold. People was a have a nose cold, a chest a cold, a lumbago, back a cold, a head a cold. It's like everybody was a trapped in a deep freezer. <laughs> but now what the difference? Everybody is a spring cleaning, a dusting, a mopping, a wiping. Mamma mia, you know in America is a wonderful. It's a country always got a new, uh, a new advancements. Well, uh, for uh, the spring cleaning, American woman has got the greatest invention in the world. The husband. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but, but I'm feeling too happy to spring clean. I'm feeling so light and free. I'm feel like a greeting everybody today with the, with the joy. Ah, yeah, there's a Miss Pellegrini. She's a passing my story. Hey, Mr. Peregrine, come on, come inside of my stuff a little bit. Well, huh? sure. And Luigi, what's the matter? You're looking so special and good today, huh? <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'm a feeling good today. It's the spring. Hot the dogs. <laughs> I thought I was to smell something a cooking. <laughs> oh, no, 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 forget it. How's it Mario and the little twins? Oh, Mario's a fine. And the twins, Luigi, you should see. See that Angelo. He's going to grow up to be another an Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln? How you know this, Mr. Pellegrino? It's swallowed so many pennies that kid is starting to look like a Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look a little beautiful today, Luigi. What's the matter? You took a two shaves, huh? No, no, no. Hey, you can't blame it on a spring, Mr. Pellegrino. Is it just a, like a... My town, Castellamare. I I'm almost to feel like I'm back there now. Like I was born all over again today. Good. Maybe you can come over and I'm going to give you a bath with the twins, huh? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Luigi, I'm like the springtime, too. That's when I'm going to meet my Mario. Well, springtime is good for all things. Yes. I was uh, walking through the market one day and all of a sudden I'm going to see Mario for the first time. Oh, he looks so beautiful behind the counter cleaning up fish. <laughs> 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 Luigi was a love on a first sight. He took a one look out of me and he dropped the fish. <laughs> Hello, Tootsie said. Oh, what a voice. I was so in love with his black eyes and his curly hair. I walked out with nine pounds of a flounder. <laughs> what do you know? That was a love, Louise. Yes, yeah, springtime is a good time for love. Yes. All that spring, Mario was a coming to take me out. And every night we was a walk and a walk in the streets. 
holding hands like a two school kids. Always, uh, always uh, walking, huh? Uh-huh. Of course, when we was to come to a park a bench, we stop a little bit. <laughs> walking, uh, walking. Uh. You know something, Mr. Pellegrino? That's what I always used to do in the spring in my town. Who walk? And that's what I'm going to do now. Huh? What do you say, Luigi? Just a walk and a walk and a... Mrs. Pellegrino, I'm going to go out tonight and take a walk. Now? By yourself? Yeah, now by myself. I feel like... Like a little bird that's got to run out from his cage and a fly, fly far away. Hey, Luigi. What? I'm going to think that bird is a little cuckoo. <laughs> Well, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm, I'm got a wonderful idea. It's taking me back to Castella Mare in the spring. I remember how, how I'm always used to go walking. One summer took Uncle Pietro's goat, and, and we was about to run away for two days. Then the goat is began to miss his girlfriend, and he's pulling me back all the way home. <laughs> well, today I'm feel like, I'm feel like it to go away from everybody. Isn't that that I'm going to love them? It's just like, like it was a back home. And, and you understand that. I'm talking to nobody, just to walk. It's now 10 o'clock. And from now till 6, I'm going to be like, like, like a little boat on the ocean. And I'm going to go wherever the wind is pushing me. Oh, it's so wonderful. Uh-huh, I'm talking about a wind already. I'm beginning to feel a draft. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, hello, Pasquale. What are you writing there, little pumpkin hat? Oh, just a letter, Pasquale. You, you know, you know, letter to my mama. That's nice. Hey, Luigi, I come to ask you a little favor. Favor? Yeah, I got a little spring cleaning to do around in my spaghetti palace. I needed somebody to help out. There ain't much. Uh, just to paint up the tables, clean up the fixtures, push the candlesticks around, and give the walls a good wipe and shine up for the silver. You know, odds and ends. <laughs> Basquale, it looks like you odds uh, is not going to end. <laughs> oh, come on, Luigi. I'm even going to help you out. How's that? No, Basquale, I'm sorry, but, but I'm, I'm not going to be home today. Huh? Where you going, Luigi? Hey, you don't look so good. You going to see a doctor? It's your tonsils, Ina. Don't tell me they already grow back in one month. <laughs> no, 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 Pascal. It's nothing like that. I'm feeling wonderful. It's just that it's a spring, and, and I've got a funny feeling in my stomach. My heart is feel light, and, and my head is feel like it's floating up on a cloud. Ooh, Luigi, you better put a rock in your pockets before you fly away to Capistrano. <laughs> Uh, what's the use of Pasquale? I don't expect you should understand how I'm feeling. Who don't know? Luigi, I'm a human too. This weather is affecting me just like anybody else. <laughs> what, it does, Pasquale? Sure. When I see a little robin building his nest, I'm happy for him. And when a sparrow digs up a worm or a nightingale sings, I feel all of these things. Luigi, I might not show it. But I bet if you look into my brains, you find a little bird. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe me, eh? Well, sure, sure, I'm a believer, you, Pasquale. You got a real bird brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm a sayer, it's a come out of different. <laughs> Oh, well, if you don't mind it, Pasquale, I'm I, I going to get it ready. What's your hurry? You're making a big thing out of something everybody's got, the spring of fever. Spring of fever, but I'm, I'm got the no temperature. No, it's a knot in the head. That's in the heart. Oh, and uh, what's the cure for this spring of fever? <laughs> a spring of chicken. <laughs> spring of chicken, what's that? My daughter, Rosa. <laughs> Basquale, that's no chicken, that's a turkey. <laughs> Luigi, is that a way to talk on a time like this? You know the slogan, in the spring, a fancy young man is a turn to love. <laughs> Basquale, I'm going to want to love. I'm going to get ready, then I'm going to close up my story and walk and walk. Walk? And I... That's right. Whatever my feet is going to take me. To the south side, the loop, the park, any place. 
I'm just going to walk, going to walk, going to walk. Stop. Gonna... You came up to Lake Michigan. I didn't want you to fall in. <laughs> Luigi, you poor fella. I think the strain of living in America was too much for you. Your tiny little brain is starting to cry out for help. Pasquale, why, why are you talking like this? Just because I'm a feel like a to walker today? Is uh, something uh, wrong with her walking? No, except that if I remember correct, a couple of weeks ago you left the store, and two hours later some greenhorn or boob is on the telephone crying... Pasquale, please come and get me. I'm lost, but I don't know where. Yeah, but, but Pasquale, this could have happened to anybody to get lost. Round the corner from where he lives. <laughs> yeah, but, but in the nighttime, my neighborhood don't look at the same. But this time, I'm going to come back by six, is not the yet the dark. Uh, please, Pasquale, let me go. It's already 11 o'clock. I'm wasted the one hour. All right, all right. Go, go. I see I'm not going to stop you. But just do your countrymen a little favor. Take along a street to guide so I don't get a call from a police station in the Milwaukee. <laughs> Coming down, Pasquale. Luigi's here playing with the cops, sucking on an ice cream of cold. <laughs> well, I've well, done it, Willie. But, but I, I'm thinking you're a street guy. That's a good idea. Come on, give me the guy. I'm going to put him in the pocket. Uh, Luigi, this guy that don't fit in your pocket. What? <laughs> I'll call in the guy now. Rosa! 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 Call me, Papa! <laughs> yes, my little compass. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Pasquale, I'm not going to take it, Rosa. Now, please, let me pack. I'm going to go. All right, all right. We know when we're not wanted. Come on, Rosa. All right, Papa. Mm. I don't like these ideas. Once a man starts to walk away, he's liable to stay away. Then who knows? We'll have to lost them all together. Luigi going away? Uh-huh. Oh, you think he'll ever come back? The way he's liable to walk is a more chance in 1949 of coming to back. Oh! I got to stop for him. That's all there is to it. I think I got away. Abro figaro, bravo, bravissima. Abro figaro, bravo, bravissima. Fortunatissima, fortunatissima. Hello? Hello, Schulzel's delegatessen here. If we ain't got it, it ain't worth eating, so smile. <laughs> all right, all right. Schultz, this is Pasquale. Well, you got my sympathy. <laughs> Listen, Schultz, I got some bad news for you about Luigi. Uh, what happened? Did he get hurt? What, what happened? Oh, take it easy, Schultz. Calm down. Relapse. Pasquale, what's the terrible news? Come on, speak up, quick. All right, get ready now. Yeah, yeah. Luigi wants to run away from a home. Ah! Hey, what's that noise there? Where are you calling from? The stockyard? <laughs> no, I'm calling from my store. It's my daughter, Rosa, and I said Luigi wants to run away from home. Oh, well, I see the connection, and I don't blame him. <laughs> but we, we mustn't let him run away from home. That's all right. Don't let him escape. I'm coming right now. Oh, So, baby, stop a while. <laughs> Not what's going to happen to Louis. He, he could get lost. I'd run over by a trolley. Or he could drown in the lake. Oh, stop, Rosa. He's not that dumb. Uh, now, you watch the star for a few minutes. Where are you going, Papa? In the street. I'm going to make sure all the manhole covers is screwed on a tight. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that will make your daily work and your other activities more enjoyable. Every few hours, chew a stick of refreshing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. The cool, long-lasting spearmint flavor is really delicious. And besides tasting good, it freshens your mouth and sweetens your breath. And then, too, the chewing itself gives you satisfaction. You seem to feel better and do things more efficiently when you're chewing on a good, smooth piece of Wrigley Spearmint gum. 
So keep Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy. Enjoy it at work. Enjoy it at other times, too. Get a few packages next time you go to the store. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, well, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm still in the store and it's already 12 or 30. I'm a new, I'm a sure to leave her right away at 10 o'clock and I'll speak it to nobody, like I'm a used to doing a Castellamara. But the now Mrs. Pellegrino Pasquale is, is making me a little scared. Well, I'm a going anywhere, but I'm, I'm a taking no chances, so I'm a pack up some food. I'm got a suitcase with a four big sandwich, two quarter milk, three apples, high oranges, half a pound of cheese. And, and also I'm going to take along a three dollar cash so I'm going to buy some food if I'm going to get the hungry. <laughs> and also I'm going to put in a satchel, two wool sweaters, a map of Chicago, plenty of socks, handkerchiefs, underwear, and, and or a jacket. I'm not going to get the loss, but, but it's no use to take it a chance. Luigi, my fellow boober. Oh, oh. Hello, Schutz. Goodbye. Uh, hello, goodbye, Luigi. We are not meeting in a wild-wing door. <laughs> Stand still for a minute and talk to me. Yeah, huh? but only for a minute. Right now, I'm going to go. No, where, Luigi? Where are you going? Oh, I'm... Uh, no, no. But when I'm going to get there, I'm going to keep on going until I get somewhere else. And now, then stop, I'm Luigi. Ah, <laughs> you for shimmelt. <laughs> now, look, Luigi, tell me the truth. I see that big suitcase. Are you going out west to dig for uranium? <laughs> At west, uh, uranium. Yeah, yeah. So sure, I'm just going to walk around till six o'clock. It's spring and I'm going to fly. Luigi, if you want to fly, you're only allowed 40 pounds. That suitcase looks like a hundred. <laughs> Sure, sir, please, don't hold me back. The suitcase has just got some food and a few little things. No, Luigi, I can't let you go. Pasquale says you're going to run away. Ah, uh, Pasquale, he's a crazy. I'm just walking, and just like I'm doing in the Castello Mare in the spring. Please, let me go. I'm going to want to be back by 6 o'clock. Oh, that scheming, Pasquale. Ah, Luigi, now the whole thing is clear to me. You just want to go out, mix around a little, and see how the other half lives. Schultz, if you don't let me go, I'm not going to be able to see how the other quarter lives. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luigi. Well, you go on now. Goodbye. Be happy and smile. Mamma mia, is already one to thirty. Well, uh, goodbye, Schultz. Goodbye. Luigi, what's this I hear? Oh, oh uh, hello, Horowitz. Schultz called me and said you was leaving us. What's the matter? If it's money, you need. No, no, thanks, Harris. It's not the money. That's nothing, Horowitz. I just talked it out with Luigi. He feels the call of spring in his young blood, and he's itching to get out. <laughs> so what's the suitcase for? In case it turns out to be a seven-year itch. <laughs> ah, smile, Horowitz. I'm only joking. He's going to be back by six o'clock tonight. Is that true, Luigi? Yeah, is it true? True. Then I'll have to call Olsen. Tell him not to bother coming down. Well, goodbye, Luigi. Take care. And remember, cross only with the green light. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, and don't try to be the taxi to the other side of the street, Luigi. They aim too good. Come on, all right, the shoots are hollow. It's all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Luigi. Mamma mia. Oh, hello, Olsen. Olsen, don't oh. stop him now. It's all a mistake. What? Luigi ain't running away, you see? He just wants to walk around town and see things. Oh, well, then, anyway, I'm glad I, I got here in time to say adieu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Austin, and friends. Uh, it's uh, two o'clock. Uh, please, uh, can I uh, go? Well, where are you going, Luigi? I'm uh, done, Austin, uh, just uh, for a long uh, walk. And now I'm uh, going to know how, how long is it going to be. You, well, as long as you are making a journey on foot through the city. You should make it a profitable one educationally. You should visit the, the Academy of Arts and Sciences, the Art Institute, the Natural History Museum, the, the Science and Industry Museum, the Adler Planetarium. Oh, and you should just tell him where the burlesque is, and that's enough. <laughs> please, please, is it 2.15? You're right, Luigi. We mustn't hold you back. Yeah, well, goodbye, Luigi. And take Good care, Luigi. Oh, no, wait, I'm going to help you pick up the suitcase. Yeesh. What have you got inside, Rosa? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please, please, Schultz. 
Come on, we're just a wasting the time. Give me a thing. Oh, God, oh, God, I'm sorry, Luigi. Goodbye, Luigi. Bye, bye, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good job. Goodbye. Basso, don't run away. I know why you're doing it. Huh? I've been too angry with you in class. What? Oh, oh that's my fault, Miss Falling. But Horowitz called me, so I, I thought you might help, too. Please, I'm not angry with the nobody. Nobody's angry with the me. What? I'm just the one who walk in the street. Just a tiny little walk. Is that all? Yes. Ain't that ridiculous? Yes, sure is. Well, then, you can take this strawberry shortcake with you. Strawberry shortcake? Yes, I brought it thinking it could keep you here while I talked you out of leaving. Oh, but he can't take a strawberry shortcake with him. Oh, they would mess up his suitcase. No, please, uh, friends, it's at three o'clock and That's right, I'm... Luigi, it'll stick to everything. Yeah, there's only one thing to do. I'm going into the kitchen and make some coffee. What? With a strawberry shortcake, we're going to make it a going away part. Come on, come <laughs> Balding, that was a most delicious cake. I'm glad you liked it, Mr. Horowitz. Sure, oh, there's nothing like a juicy strawberry shortcake to hit the jackpot. <laughs> but you can say that again. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, you are so quiet. Say something. Is it 20 minutes to four? Come <laughs> <laughs> on, Luigi, why did you let us forget? I'm tired from a hollering. <laughs> so, well, you go on right now, Luigi. Oh. Certainly, Mr. Basco. I hope you have a pleasant walk. Thank you. Luigi, will you do me a big favor, huh? What, what, what the hell is... I got a cousin on Adam Street. If you pass by, would you mind dropping off this wristwatch? I just had it fixed. All right. Here, here's his address. Don't lose it. Please, let me go. Otherwise, he's going to get the lost right in the store. <laughs> certainly, certainly. Let him go. Goodbye and God bless you, Luigi. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 Luigi. Uh, I just remembered something. What? Uh, Luigi, if you're going to walk west, you're going to pass by my house. Uh, uh, just step inside, please, and tell my wife, Frida, to give you the full dress suit that I borrowed from her brother, Wolfgang, yeah? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I never go around there because I hate Wolfgang, yeah? It, it, it's in the clothes closet somewhere between the moths. <laughs> between the... Yeah, and, the shoes. And, and when you deliver it to my brother-in-law, hand it him down with the pants on top so he shouldn't see the ketchup stain on the collar. Huh? <laughs> well, is, is it there is something else? No, 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 that's all. That's oh, all, this but... is silly holding up Mr. Basco this way. Goodbye, Mr. Basco. Just go and don't bother saying goodbye. Yeah. Luigi, you back already? Masquerade, I'm not going to go yet. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible. But as long as you didn't go yet, I got some people who want to say farewell to you. Come on in, guy. Come on, come on, on mommy. Luigi, is this a true one? I heard that you wasn't going to go back to Italy. No, Mrs. Pellegrini, I'm, I'm just the one to go. I'm the one to go for a walk. Well, you better go now. It's getting a dark outside. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's a five o'clock already. Please, please, I'm, I'm just the one to take a little walk. Tiny, little, little walk, please. Well, now, Luigi, please, don't get mad. Yeah, remember, it's spring. <laughs> spring. <laughs> Where am I heard that the word before? Luigi, I'm going to surprise you on this going away party. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a staying away party. <laughs> Just so you should leave in a good mood and feel like in a Castellamare when you're walking around, I brought a Ralph D'Angelis. He should sing you a song from the older country. Oh, no. No, it's a ten after the five. Come on, Ralph. A new Tony. Push up a squeeze box. Come on. Chi se ne scordo, chiude che la sera, senza un uscora che la trezza nera. Senza l'aniella che l'immanicera, corre cabru, c'è chiusa una frasera. Quando vai a essere una bannera, le rucine spante con. Corre quando fantasia, una bella nave. Vita poco per le dia, in da che la solita. Corre quando fantasia, una bella nave. Well, Luigi was 
Isn't that wonderful? I am a now I'm a homesick. I'm a don't feel like a gun. What? Don't talk like that, Luigi. You gotta go. You got all of Chicago to explore. All of Chicago. Mamma Mia is a five or thirty. Oh, this is silly. Let him go. Yeah, all right, go on. Who's the keeper? Hey, you really mean it? Are you gonna let me go? Of course. Are you not gonna stop me? Anybody stops you is over my dead body. Ooh, am I dempted? <laughs> I want to go. There's not too much time left. Go ahead. Go. All right. The shoot before I'm going to leave. See if nobody's outside. Is it going to come in last a minute? All right. Oh, him and look who is coming. <laughs> Luigi, you stayed for me. <laughs> come inside and shut up your face. <laughs> go ahead, Luigi. Go. Go. Hey, this is the time I'm going to go for sure. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Oh, Mamma Mia, I'm, I'm a finally out the side. Five thirty. Oh, but it's dark. And it's a cold. Suitcases are feeling heavy. Ooh, the cheese sandwiches are starting to smell. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma Mia, it's raining. It's raining, I'm gonna come back. Welcome home, my son. We missed you. Oh, Luigi! <laughs> and I saw Mamma Mia, I'm still got this spring of fever. I am still uh, didn't fly out of my cage. But uh, what's the uh, worse? Uh, Pasquale is uh, just sending the rosa to keep me company. And that uh, means that the cage is uh, plenty crowded. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, Mamma Mia. Pasquale is uh, not going to stop me or make me do what uh, he's uh, want. Before, he's a uh, try. And he's a uh, say... Luigi, you got a fever. Rosa's uh, got a fever. How's about you two enjoying your fevers uh, together, eh? <laughs> Pasquale, I'm a rather take of the penicillin. <laughs> but that's uh, not stopping me from a trying, Mamma Mia. Then he's a say. Luigi, you want to travel around? Okay. I'm going to buy three tickets on a super chief. We're all going to take a beautiful trip together. Of course, I'm a no kind of resist this, so I'm a said, what a two, Pasquale. And then he's a said, Niagara's the Falls. <laughs> what do you say, my son? And what do you think I'm a said to Mamma Mia? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm a said to like I'm always a say, Goodbye, Papa. <laughs> Here, love and a son, Luigi Bosco, a little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an ideal taste treat to enjoy between your meals. It tastes good, it's satisfying, yet it's never rich or heavy. doesn't fill you up. What's more, chewing Wrigley Spearmint gum aids digestion, so it's not only good, but also good for you. So when you're feeling a little bit hungry between meals, do what millions of other people do. Chew a stick of healthful, delicious Wrigley Spearmint gum. It costs so little, tastes so good. And you can chew and enjoy it as long as you want. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, and Joe Forte as Horowitz. Ken Peters plays Olsen. Music is directed by Lud Gluskin. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.